Hi, I'm Andre of Zebra BI and I'll present the January update of the Zebra BI custom visuals for Power BI. In our Zebra BI tables visual, we have added great support for column subtotals. Uh, you can expand and collapse column subtotals, you can add grand totals and subtotals or remove them, rename them, which will allow you to build uh, much better tables and much flexible tables in Power BI. Let me show you how this works. Um, I'm going to add uh, monthly values here, right? So it's split by month and then create a group by quarter like this. Okay. And what I've got is a hierarchy in my column structure now. And now I can expand and collapse each group in my table. Very simple, just by clicking on this little uh, down arrow here, or I can right click and expand the entire group or collapse the entire group. Now uh, to add the, the uh, grand total column, simply click on the uh, plus button and show the grand total. Very simple. Uh, much similarly, you can also add the column subtotals. Uh, now you can rename any uh, subtotal or the grand total simply by clicking on the uh, down arrow here. And let me rename this to uh, like a full year, right, which is a, probably a better label here. You can also rename uh, the uh, subtotals as well. All right, so this is a very simple example, but now let's move on uh, because the new feature of expanding collapsing subtotals works with any um, table layout in Zebra BI, with charts, with everything that we have inside the Zebra BI tables visual. So if I bring in the uh, previous year value, I just bring in, voila. So now I have the previous year, the actual value, I have the growth rate, so the variance to previous year, both absolute and relative and so on. Of course, my table has expanded uh, and it's quite wide, but uh, now I can just clean it up, uh, maybe hide certain columns here. So hide from all groups. Let me also hide this one like this and then change this to a column. And as you see, um, the uh, charts are now rendered also on the uh, grand total, on the subtotals and everywhere. So basically this works with any kind of uh, chart in uh, Zebra BI tables and with all the rest of the settings that we have there. So now we have also added the support for the extended JSON custom themes in Power BI. So they work basically with all the settings that you have in Zebra BI. These are the design settings, uh, custom font types and so on, but also advanced settings like uh, do you prefer the subtotals above or below or um, do you want to have grand totals in your charts by default and so on. So let me quickly demonstrate. Um, this is the Zebra BI charts visual. Um, it contains different types of charts with different types of shapes and, and uh, colors, right? And now if I want to switch to a different uh, theme, you can import your own theme here. Voila. And now everything has changed in one go. Okay, so all of the charts will respect the new uh, style definitions that you've added to this custom theme, uh, including the line charts, area charts, and everything that we've got in our Zebra BI power table. So it's just one central place where you define this definition. And more importantly, maybe even, is that you can control, you know, any of the settings. So for example, if I switch to another theme, um, like an advanced theme, right? Now this theme now has the grand totals here set to on by default. And then also um, the number format in the chart has changed. So we are displaying uh, negative numbers in parentheses here. And also if I make this a little bit smaller, you can see that the uh, labels on the axis are rotating instead of the default trimming policy that we have in Zebra BI. So you can control everything now with custom themes. 
Uh, if you're a Zebra BI Pro user, you can log into your Zebra BI member account where you'll find a nice style editor to edit your style and then download the JSON file directly from your profile. Uh, you're invited to uh, import Zebra BI visuals from AppSource. Enjoy the new features.